Hello, this is Andy Ford from Andy Ford Video, and we're going to use the random expression to change the colors of our background shape layer. We have this rectangle shape layer filling the screen. We're going to add an expression for color. So we'll alt click or option click on the Mac, the stopwatch for color. So the way random works is there are two arguments in the parentheses. They're your starting and ending value of what the random possibilities can be. So in this case, we can have color one and color two as our variables. But now we have to define these variables. We can do that using an array. And remember for colors, an array has four values, R, G, B, and alpha. Alpha is relatively meaningless for this. But if we set our array to all zeros and we make our other variable color two set to all ones, this in essence covers all the potential colors there are. So we have a random expression referencing color one at the low end and color two at the high end. But the variables are set to arrays that represent all the colors. So in theory, we randomly should cycle through all possible colors as we play this. As you can see, the screen looks like it's having a seizure, but it is changing the color randomly as asked. If we want to slow that down, we can add posterize time. That's with a capital T. And in parentheses, you can set how many frames per second you would like it to change. If you put 10, it will change 10 times. And if you put 4, it will change 4 times per second. If you didn't want to cycle through all the colors and just cycle through a set range of colors, you could always add color controls to your layer. For example, you could go to Effect, Expression Controls, Color Control, and select the starting color of your choosing. Let's pick this yellow, and we can change our variable for color 1 to be this lighter control. Then we can add another control and choose another color. Let's go with orange, and we can make that our color 2 variable. So we would replace our array with the color value, and we do that by dragging the pick whip. Now when we play our timeline, the colors are kept within the confines of our two color values on the slider control. Of course, this random expression is useful for many things, not just changing colors, but this gives you a quick example of how to use this handy expression. Thank you.